Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my June 2021 favourites. We are officially halfway through the year now and we're on our way to winter. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favourite makeup and skincare that I've been loving over the past month. And as always I'm going to start off with base products. No surprise, it is still the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation and my shade is in Warm Sun. I absolutely love this. This is my holy grail. It has been for literally the past couple of months or ever since it came out because I've shared it in so many of my favourites videos as you guys know. This is actually what I'm wearing right now on my face today. It's full coverage. It literally does last up to 30 hours if you do wear it for that long. But generally if I tend to wear it at the beginning of the day up until late in the evening it still looks fresh. It still looks shine free. It gives full flawless coverage but still retains that natural kind of finish that doesn't make you look like cake face. And I absolutely love it. The base product is a relatively new release by the brand Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the multi dew Skin Tint. I love the coverage that this gives. It gives a nice light to medium coverage. It gives that dewy skin effect, but it never really turns greasy. It's also got minimal transfer and it's great to use for those of you that like to have dewy skin, but don't want it to go onto the oilier side. Obviously that is completely dependent on how much you powder it down as well. If you've got oily skin, I would always suggest powdering it down, but the dew will still kind of come through and make you look really nice, natural and healthy. This is a new product by Laura Mercier, it's, or it's like a re-release. It's the new Tinted Moisturiser Oil Free Natural Skin Perfector SPF 20. The shade that I'm using at the moment is 4N1 Wheat. This was actually gifted to me. I've been using this quite a lot in the month of June, mostly for review purposes for my channel. I really like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturisers. They've always been, in my opinion, one of the best on the market and the reason why they've been around for what, like 20 years or something like that. It gives, again, a really nice natural finish to the skin. You can really build it up to medium coverage without any kind of effort or really any extra kind of product. Obviously, the less you use, the more likely you are to have a more lighter kind of finish to the skin. What I like about this is that it gives a really nice even coverage to the skin and even though it's got like a demi matte finish it gives a slight kind of hint of sheen to the skin but nothing that looks oily and definitely not in the same kind of way that this one is dewy this is not something that i would call dewy i'd call it demi matte it starts to separate after about eight hours i would say but it never really gets shiny or greasy so even if it started to separate and only if you really look up close it still looks really nice on the skin and i'm a really big fan of this right let's move on to concealers again the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpt in concealer my shade is in golden beige absolutely love it full coverage creamy lasts all day doesn't crepe doesn't look aging doesn't move doesn't budge i'm using it on my under eyes today and i absolutely love it one that i've rediscovered recently is the nars radiant creamy concealer my shade is in medium two ginger this one to me has never been full coverage um it's always been something which is definitely medium coverage for me and because of the fact that i've been using so many tinted moisturizers recently i didn't want to necessarily go in with full coverage under the eyes otherwise it's very obvious that one area is quite heavily covered whereas the other is got like a more natural sort of finish and you can still see your skin through it and that's why i've been using this i do have to powder this a lot under the eyes because i actually find that this uh, can have the tendency to start to settle within the lines under the eyes but as long as you set it properly it looks absolutely great and lasts all day the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade medium is one that i have used consistently ever since i bought it and i will buy it again and again and as soon as this finishes i will buy it again this is what i use to set all my foundation all the base products i've shown you i use this every single day now it is definitely on the pricier side can't lie it's like 35 pounds but i don't find that you go through it very quickly it's quite finely milled you don't need to apply that much to your brush in order for you to set your foundation it makes my skin feel velvety soft and it really helps to keep any shine at bay as well let's move on to bronzers the bronzers the glowish soft radiance bronzing powder and the shade that i'm sharing it to you in is number two medium this was again the release by huda beauty i've been loving this uh powder i actually have used it to contour my face today now even though it's got that baked look to it it's not baked it's got like a nice marbleish kind of effect it doesn't really kick up any kind of actual powder so sometimes you may be like digging in your brush you're like how come nothing's coming off but that's just because of the way that it's been pressed it's nice soft beautiful on the skin it's only got 
a slight sheen to it meaning that even if you do use it to contour it's not too obvious but I really like the quality of this and the fact that I can tell that this is going to last me a really long time purely because it just doesn't have that kick up of powder that so many other products have. Another bronzer that I know you guys have missed is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Saddle Powder Bronzer or the shade is Saddle Powder Bronzer and this is what I also have been using to contour for a very very long time. In terms of my medium skin tone this really gives a nice mix between cool and warm tones meaning that it works well to contour for my skin tone. It's got a very nice lightweight kind of texture. It kicks up a little bit of powder but it glides onto the skin beautifully and lasts all day and never gets patchy. Got an eyebrow pencil to share with you guys. The Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. My shade is medium brown. Uh, yeah, so this is like my fourth <laughs> because it finishes so quickly, but I can't help it you guys To be honest, I only ever buy it when it's on sale because I'm like it costs 15 pounds But there's hardly any product inside. Let's see how much is left right now because I've got it recently and There we go. That's that's there you go that's all that's left in here and I've used it like three times. I'm using it on my eyebrows today. What I love about this is just the nib. The fact that it gets into any kind of tiny little crevice on your eyes and the color lay down is never really that heavy. I go in quite lightly and I don't really like that Sharpie brow look that I kind of used to go for a couple of years ago. I've kind of stopped that because I realized that my eyebrows were just looking a bit too dark. And especially because my hair is a lot lighter these days, I want it to be able to kind of match with my hair color but without it looking really obvious it's also transfer proof and means you don't have to set it at all as well and I just think that it's an excellent product it's just a shame that there's not much of the product actually inside it eyelashes I've just got the box here because I'm actually wearing the eyelashes these are the Coco lashes in the style Stella if you guys know I love the Huda Beauty Sasha ones sometimes I like to change it up a little bit now these aren't completely like the Sasha ones which are quite spiky these are kind of like long short long short long short but in clumps and that way it gives that really nice kind of cat eye sort of effect I just love look how big they are and fluffy they're so lightweight I can't even feel them on my eyes and they're relatively affordable as well and last forever I'm actually a massive fan of Coco lashes I think their brand is excellent right, I've got one lipstick to share with you guys that I've probably used the most and this is the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade heartbreaker I've been wearing quite a few red kind of looks reddish brownish kind of looks through the month of June I know that's not very summery but this is just one that I happen to reach for all the time Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks are definitely one of my favorites and always have been ever since they were released I just love the way that this performs it feels liquidy on the lips and then it dries down to a light weight matte finish it never really needs to be touched up much and even if you do touch it up it doesn't go drying and crepey and make your lips feel old it doesn't flake off definitely one of the best on the market another Huda Beauty oh my god I've got so much Huda Beauty to share with you guys well I do love the brand it is the Glow Obsessions highlighting palette in medium this is the one that I generally tend to go for the most even though I've got all three so I'm wearing on my cheekbones today I'm wearing this golden kind of shade the quality is excellent it lasts all day it doesn't emphasize the texture on my face and it just gives that really nice high shine metallic look to the skin I also use it to highlight uh, my brow bone and my tear duct sometimes Times. so it's a very versatile product especially because you've got four different shades in here another Huda Beauty product is the pastels rose obsessions eyeshadow palette now even though I said I've been wearing a lot of red lips I've also been going for a lot of pink looks and this is what this one looks like I think it was it last year this came out or the year before but I have generally been loving this ever since it came out I'm actually using this on my eyes today I'm not using it on my lid but I generally tend to use this because I've got like this kind of rainbowish kind of dress on and sometimes I want a really powerful lip like I've done here but I want something quite soft on the lips I love to use this kind of palette because it has beautiful rosy mauvey kind of soft shades and the quality is excellent and it just looks wonderful for summer one more Huda Beauty product I'm so sorry um it's a new product that I haven't shared with you guys that I bought here and I didn't do a review video on it because I only bought two it is the brand new Huda Beauty lip contour 2.0 so these were the re-released uh, lip liners by Huda Beauty because a lot of people didn't necessarily like the way that the previous ones were now I love the quality of them the problem that I found with those is that when you sharpen them and they start to go down the actual pencil itself used to cut my lip and I also used to find that the actual um, color block inside when it used to go like this it used to fall out and I was like what the hell is that so I'm really happy that she's come out with these new ones now the shade that I've got is deep rose as well as sandy beige and I think that they're excellent so what you do is you twist them up at the bottom just to get the color to come up if you want to and then also there is a hold on 
not that I've had to use it yet because it's still quite new there's a sharpener inside as well and it's not like a sharpener with a piece of metal it's actually made of plastic now it's completely up to you if you do want to sharpen it down personally I don't even think you need to because all you need to do is just keep winding it up but it's completely up to you and I like the fact that that is included in there I think that the colors are lovely as well if you've got brown skin tone you will definitely love the shade deep rose I've used this with a lot of nude lipsticks to kind of make a pinky nude and then this one sandy beige is actually quite a nude -y sort of taupe when I've wanted to go for really soft kind of lips I've used this with a pale brown and all it does is really kind of blend into my natural skin tone and define my lips without giving too much color all right that's it for the makeup let's move on to skincare oh I have to share this with you again my fave my fave is the isn't tree hyaluronic acid water essence this contains eight types of hyaluronic acid you guys have heard me rave about this forever this is like my fourth or fifth bottle now I love it I can't get enough of it my skin drinks it up now I suffer from eczema prone skin I recently had a massive eczema flare-up around my nose and chin and and in order to, other than my hydrocortisone, which I have to unfortunately use, but to keep them flaky bits at bay, this is what I've been using. Now, whether you've got dry skin, whether you've got oily skin, all skin types need to be moisturized. This is the kind of product you want to use because it contains eight types of hyaluronic acid. It really just sinks into the skin and makes it feel like velvet. And it's not heavy or thick or anything like that. It's lightweight and it's absolutely excellent. This is a must have in everybody's skincare collection, in my humble opinion, of course. Now I've got two products here from the brand Beauty of Joseon. And the reason I'm showing them together is because they're both from the same range the ginseng range this is ginseng essence water and from memory it contains about 80% of ginseng root water in here as well as 2% niacinamide which is great for blemishes uh, for pore clearing and that sort of thing and this one here is the repair serum ginseng and snail mucin this is also great for all skin types I use them both together I use this one which moisturizes hydrates brightens my skin and then I go in with this serum which repairs the skin it repairs it from within like I said recently my skin's been quite playing up quite a bit it's not even just the eczema it's other things as well I think it's allergies as well as the pollen count is if, if I showed this camera outside right now the pollen is flying through the air like snow and <sighs> That's why I'm a little bit blocked as well because I do suffer from allergies. And then my skin suffers as well. And that's why I've been loving this. Now the texture is slightly thick. Again, you only need to apply a little bit and your skin will absolutely love it. Snail mucin as well is reparative for the skin and it helps with things like elasticity and aging too. Got a couple of things from Dear Claire's. Two things that I shared with you guys, or I think I shared with them, all three of them with you recently. Uh, the first one being the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. So basically you press the pump and it comes in a foam now bear in mind I don't have dry skin I've got normal to combination skin but skin is such a personal thing and such a weird thing you can still have dry skin but you can have oily bits you can still have uh, oily skin but have sensitive oily skin you can have combination skin but, but with bits of dryness it's all very very strange and it's also seasonally dependent too now because like I said my skin's been suffering quite a bit recently and I really needed to give it a lot of nourishment I've been really loving using this uh, foaming cleanser because it's a moisturizing and soothing cleanser so it soothed my skin and that redness that I had because of the eczema was helped a lot because of this as well as that this cleanser too this is the dear Claire's gentle black facial cleanser this is a new launch from dear Claire's, and this is a ph balanced pore refining kind of cleanser it's very very thick when you squeeze it out you mix in a bit of water rub it all over your face and it makes my skin feel refreshed and it feels squeaky clean also the fact that it's 140 ml which means it will last me a really long time another product is the dear claire's rich moist soothing cream again for the same reasons as i've already stated which is why i've been using this i use this as my daytime moisturizer i'm using it today underneath my skincare and even though the name itself makes you think that it's quite thick it literally blends into nothing and it's actually very very lightweight but moisturizing at the same time it's not heavy or greasy or shiny or anything like that and i love it last two things I'm going to share with you guys are two of my latest sunscreens that I've bought they're both Japanese sunscreens not Korean for a change this is from the brand called Kosei and this is the Suncut UV Perfect Essence super waterproof SPF 50 PA quadruple plus now I like this because of the fact that it's almost clear it's like it's got a slight white tinge to it but when you actually just rub it look at that 
it's like water on the skin it literally blends into nothing i absolutely love it great for your melanated peeps out there obviously and it works beautifully underneath uh, makeup the only thing is that i'm not sure if there's alcohol in it i have to check the ingredients i did get a slight whiff of something but personally if you've got oily skin this is the kind of spf that you want this next one here is by the brand called verdio it is the uv moisture essence this contains aloe and green tea. This is a really kind of soothing SPF as well. So if you've got problematic skin, you've got eczema prone skin, you've got sensitive skin, you will absolutely love this. So the way this one is, is this is, it's got a slight white color to it, but again, you blend it in and there you go. It's blended into nothing. Now the other one's definitely a little bit more lightweight, a bit more watery. And I think that goes hand in hand with the kind of skin types this is for. Now this is definitely one which is better, I would say if you've got normal skin or dry skin, because it's got a slight tackiness to it. However, I'm wearing it under my makeup today. And what do you guys think? You can't tell, right? It's not showing you anything like that. It's another favorite of mine. And I'm really, really happy that I got this. So that's it for my June 2021 beauty and skincare favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Video, like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon bye